It has finally been revealed. Hello my friends, my name is Sam Cake and welcome to Vlogmas Day. So I am so happy to announce E3 is currently happening. <laughs> and if you were around yesterday, you might have heard about a little game called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, the name has finally been announced. More footage of the freaking game has finally been revealed. I am so hyped up for this game. I mean, I know there's loads of other things going on with E3, but come on, Zelda! You know how much I love Zelda. <laughs> but it just looks absolutely amazing. So let's get started with the environment. The environment is absolutely stunning. It's like in cell shaded style. And you just pretty much do whatever the hell you like. <laughs> you could just run around and just, if you see camp in the distance, go over there, destroy the camp, get the treasure chest, be done with it. If you see a campfire, cook something up, make some grub, <laughs> get some health. If you see a tree, cut it down, just cut it down. And it is just so dynamic with the environment and I love it. You see a boulder? Push it and roll it down. See a freaking crate or whatnot? Pick it up! Throw it around! Just do whatever the hell you like. The environment is so dynamic. It looks absolutely stunning. It is just so amazing. Like, there's just so many different things I absolutely love about it. Um, the combat is pretty much the same old, same old. Just boom, boom, boom. But you can also do this, I think it's like a sort of counter attack sort of thing it looked like and if you like hit it at the right time you can like hit them four times in a row it, it, it looked really cool and also using the bow and arrow that looks amazing I saw this one bit of gameplay where there was this camp inside a skull shape yeah yeah it's just a story of a skull a gigantic skull and what happened was Link got a bow what I that fired his bow and then it went inside the eye of the skull and it just then exploded well not the skull but you can see all these explosions happen inside and all these little bits of fire coming out of the eyes coming out of the mouth of the skull and it looks so freaking amazing like honestly I did not see any like FPS problems in that I don't know if there was I did see a tweet saying there was FPS problems I don't know whether that was because of the stream or whether the rats are trying out the game for themselves but it isn't finalized you still need to do like performance issues if anything it just looks absolutely amazing <laughs> and I am so excited if I ever get a chance to freaking play the demo I will so wish they would bring out the demo in the eShop because I would just play the crap out of that. I seriously would. I would actually literally just play it for hours on end just on the demo because it just looks absolutely amazing and I really cannot wait to get my hands all over it. Ah! So I was saying earlier about how you can pick things up. You have these like runes and with your runes they're like your new tours. So you know before you had like the claw shot and the spinner and all that crap. You got runes now. Um, they pretty much replace these tours, I think. That's what I got from it. And you have uh, like bombs. You have this magneto, magnetico. I can't. I don't know what it's called. But you pretty much just pick up items with it, and it looks really cool. Like I just, I don't know. I just felt in this one so smoothly for being so dynamic. I was so shocked about that. I never knew this. I just never knew I could do it. I mean, soon this is a Wii U as well. I mean, yeah. A lot of people seem to criticise the Wii U. A lot of people don't really seem to like it. And in this amazing game, can play on a freaking Wii U. And Nintendo NX, whenever that's coming out, but Wii U. <sighs> Come on. Let me just give the Wii U a little bit of a chance. <laughs> Um, but I just thought it looked absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to play it myself. Um, there was never one of runes where you can like stop the time or something. So just like a, a boulder rolling at you, you can just stop it in time. And not only that, 
they went up a little bit more of this, went up by making it so you can put force into a freaking boulder. So you can actually make the boulder fling back that way, away from you, and just do whatever the hell it likes. But it is so cool that you can like put force into a um, moving object like that and make it move differently by stopping time. It is just, well, not stopping time, but stopping the time of the object. And it is just so awesome! I am, oh, I can't get over how cool it looks. It just looks absolutely amazing. And the thing is, they did this whole demo. It was literally like, probably like seven hours of freaking demo. Because I, I was watching the treehouse for ages, just seeing what the demo was like. And that's just the beginning of it all. <laughs> There's like seven hours demo. It's probably not even that. Probably more like six maybe. But even then, six hours demo of a freaking game. And that is just the beginning. Um, when you start up, you start up really weirdly. I mean, you start with Link waking up. And that's pretty cliche. <laughs> if you ever played on previous Zelda games, like in Skyward Sword or Queen of Time, Link wakes up. <laughs> and it seems to keep repeating that sort of thing. And you'll see this freaking old man. Once you get out of this place, you see an old man. And he gives you, well, yeah, he gives you a sword. Just like the first lesson of Zelda. Come on, that's epic. But the place where you wake up seems very peculiar. It's like, I forgot what they called it. It was like, Shrine of Resurrection. Rest 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 I can't even say the freaking word. Resurrection. And it looks really weird. And it seems really different. Like, you awoken up from water or I don't know it's like some sort of test laboratory sort of thing and I thought it was just really odd it's like a new look on Zelda completely and I guess that's like kind of how they're trying to do this whole new Legend of Zelda is by waking up from something new and fresh so like if you clone something you like imagine like if you watch the Pokemon movie for the first one, you know how they like cloned Pokemon in it. It's kind of like that. That's how I see it, and it's just like a new look on things because it's like all new, newness. It, it does not make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> but the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild looks amazing. I really cannot wait to play it, and I haven't even got onto the climbing yet for climbing. It's just stunning. I, I really just can't wait to just climb around. Um, there was a Temple of Time as well. Gosh, how can I forget about that? I feel like they're bringing back a bit of everything from previous games. So we saw the Temple of Time, but that could be from like all game time, it could be from um, Twilight Princess. We don't know. But I also saw this bridge, and it kind of reminds me of a bridge of Alden. I don't know, that's just me. But we also saw that volcano. Death Mountain. It's just everything in one place and it's just so awesome and I cannot wait to play it. Ah, I wish I was at E3 so I could actually play the freaking demo. But I am just so hyped up for this demo and I hope you are as well. I mean, I know there's loads of other things E3 related, but this is my highlight. I mean, if you know me, you know how much I love The Legend of Zelda. So. <laughs> I am just so hyped up for it and I cannot wait for the game to be released and I hope there is a demo sometime soon. Right, I'm going to try and not talk any more about The Legend of Zelda, how I might drift away a little bit later on I guess. <laughs> if I can think of anything else to talk about in particular. Um, like the slide, the slide glider thing, sail, yeah sail cloth, <laughs> that's so cool. Oh. But yes, I'm going to know that. I'm just going to go on about ever 7 E3 that I saw. So, let's get started. I got them all on my iPod. Final Fantasy XV, that looks so awesome. In the trailer we saw there was a big giant and he was just fighting against it. And it looks so freaking epic, I cannot wait to play it. But what's even more a bit weird about it is that you can use VR to play as Prompto. And I don't know, I thought that was a really weird take on Final Fantasy. I don't know if I like it, I don't know if I would make use of it, if I ever get VR. But the environment is beautiful. And 
I would at least want to try it out just to see the VR or how the environment looks in VR. I think that would look absolutely stunning. So, just wow. <laughs> so I can't wait to see how that is. I don't know if I can even get my hand on VR. I hope I can. <laughs> It'd be so cool if I could. But it just looks absolutely amazing and I really cannot wait for Final Fantasy 15. I still got one of the demos to upload on the channel that I recorded quite a while back now. I don't know when I'll be able to get that done, but hopefully sometime soonish. But I cannot wait to show you it and just show how epic the world in Final Fantasy 15 is. And I cannot wait for this game to be released. There was another game called Abzu. I, it was only like shortly revealed in the Sony after conference sort of thing on day zero. And it was just this underwater game. It looks cell shaded and there's all these fishes flying around. And it's a puzzle game, I take it as. And it looked so stunning. Like, it was a, such a beautiful looking game. I mean, the main character you play as does look a little bit weird. But everything else about it looks absolutely stunning. And I would love to play that on the channel. I think that would be my sort of style on the channel. Just something chilling, relaxing, and very bright and vibrant. I love that sort of game. Then there's this new game from Bethesda's uh, called Prey. That looks so cool. I mean, when they was showing the trailer, like the first bit of the trailer, I was just like, eh, I don't know if I like this or not. Eh. But then as the trailer played on for a little bit longer, I realised this looks actually quite cool. It looks cool. And the main reason I like the sound of it is because I feel like there'd be some sort of really big twist in the story. And I want to have a bit of a taste of that. Because it does look really cool. Um, it might be a bit scary for me, I don't know how to know, because it looks like it's an alien game. So you have to like, shoot alien. So, all I was just thinking, alien versus predator, oh god, I don't want to go through that. <laughs> But it might be okay, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be fine. But it does look like a really interesting game, and I I want to try it out. I really do. I actually want to try it out one out. Gwent, if you play The Witcher or see my stream on The Witcher, well, I never actually played a card game of Gwent. They're releasing that as an individual game. I'm not sure how well that will turn out. I mean, I think they might be getting a bit their hopes up a bit with that game. I don't know. I didn't really, I'm not really into Gwent and The Witcher 3, but it looks interesting still. I wouldn't mind trying that out. <laughs> but it does look quite cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, I have been playing a bit of Hearthstone recently, if you saw me on the stream. Trying to get into that. I'm doing pretty badly so far, but it's okay. But I don't know. Will Gwent do good? I have no idea, but it does look quite neato at the moment. It was this other game that was shown beforehand of the Stony conference from day zero called Bound and it was just this ballerina game and that sounds really weird I know to say that might sound weird already but I thought it looked really beautiful I mean once again graphics style shaded it looked really cool and I don't know I just thought I really don't know I just thought like how the movements were it was just stunning and it kind of intrigues me in playing this game myself. I have no idea what the actual gameplay is going to be like. Like, the story around it and stuff like that. I have no idea what's that going to be like. Is it just going to be me dancing around? Or is it going to have something more to it? And I'm guessing there'll be something more to it. And it does look visually amazing. So I'm hoping that would be quite a good game to maybe play on the channel as well in the future. I don't know. But it does look really cool. <laughs> oh, oh, how can I forget about this? I didn't have to forget about it, but God of War. I mean, honest to God, I never played a God of War game before. I know. I really want to. But finally, I can. We have this new release of God of War on the PS4. It looks amazing. I mean, to be fair. A big dude like Kratos, I did not actually think would take care of his little kid. But apparently it's his son. I don't know. I don't know if they are. <laughs> Never heard of him having a son. But I, I haven't played for previous games, so I wouldn't know. But it looks absolutely amazing. This environment. 
the snow. I love snow. Freaking snow and forest and I felt so bad when they hunted down that freaking deer, elk, I don't know. But I just felt so bad and it was so pretty as well. The horns, the antlers, they were like sparkling blue. It looks so gorgeous and it's dead. <laughs> But it was just such a beautiful game and it was also very thrilling at the same time. The combat, oh, it's just my sort of type of combat I love. And I just cannot wait to get my hands on it and play it for myself. So, ah, I can't wait. <laughs> I honestly cannot wait for that game. There was this other game as well called Days Gone. Um. In the days it was Sony Conference, they showed it right at the start and only showed it right at the end. At the start I was like, this is weird. I kind of like it, I kind of don't like it. Um, I don't know. And then when the um, second video gameplay of it started, I was saying to Phil, oh, this is weird. It looks like it's a zombie game, but I don't think it is a zombie game. And then shortly afterwards, about a thousand zombies came chasing after me. Or for, well, not me, the character. And uh, it was just ridiculous how many times that person who was playing the game was so close in getting caught. <laughs> I was like, oh god, why is he just shooting them? He should be freaking running for his life. He should not be shooting them. I mean, it's not gonna stop them. Have you seen how many there are? There are loads of them! How is shooting a couple of them gonna solve this? And then he went on the freaking narrow bridge and I was for certain this bridge would freaking collapse. I was like, no, don't go on that bridge, nah! I don't know. But the bridge didn't collapse, luckily. Um, I know it was one of the details in the game, uh, like, in that gameplay, was that he went over this I, I don't even know what it was. He went over something, like a little wooden bridge, I think it was. And because of all the zombies that were on this bridge, the bridge collapsed from all its weight. And I thought that was just a really neat little feature of the game. I thought that was very like, minimal realistic. And I thought that was really cool. And just how when he put the shutters down, all these zombies are hitting at it as well. You can see the dents and see how the shutters break down. And it just made the game so much more realistic. And I really like that little feature of this game. Is that there really doesn't seem to be no safe place. There's no secure... Well, yeah, there's no security or whatever. You're just pretty much screwed <laughs> at the end of the day. But somehow, he defeated all the zombies on the roof. But then he was surrounded by plenty more and the gameplay stopped. I have no idea how on earth he would continue from that. But it just stopped there. And it did look so cool. It really looked awesome. Despite, I don't know if I would actually want to play it because I might get a bit screamy with that sort of game. <laughs> Next up is The Last Guardian. Um, I didn't actually finish it that much of The Last Guardian. But we got a release date at least and it looks awesome. Um, I saw The Last Guardian last year and already I was hyped up for it because it did look so cool. And this is this cute little furry little friend. I don't know what the hell it is. We got that little friend with us and it's just so cool. I really like the connection those two characters will have. I think that's going to be like really important in this game. And also I really just like how it was all displayed. I don't know about the person, I mean, I thought the person, like, didn't look that realistic, but at the same time I think that's kind of what they're going for. I feel like they're trying to not go for that realism to an extent. I don't know, it didn't, I don't know, but it did look really cool the game, the game was awesome looking and I hope they release more of it over the next few days of E3. There's this other game which I thought looked really odd, but at the same time I'm intrigued and it was called Detroit and you're basically this android, I think his name is Connor, I can't actually remember, there was this android and 
you had a variety of choices. You could have picked up a gun and shot this dude who uh, taken hostage this little girl, and you had to save the little girl um, from this android who kidnapped this little girl. And it, I don't know. It was really weird. Like there was loads of different choices, loads of different things you can make. Um, so you could shoot him, you could not shoot him, you could put down your gun, you could tell the helicopter to go away, you could, I don't know, you could just try and convince him however you like, and you had to like live with the consequences, that's like the motto of this game, live by your consequences, and it was, it seemed like it was a very touching game as well, it feels like it would actually like get to your emotions. I feel like it was really good at doing that sort of thing in this game if you actually played it yourself and it didn't look quite interesting but I have no idea what the end game is going to be like because I feel like it might be a bit short because I find that with choice games like this is that they're usually quite shorter because they put too much effort into making loads of different choices that it kind of sacrifices the length of the gameplay unless you replay the game and do each of the choice. So I'm a bit worried in that case what this game is going to be like, but it did look really awesome otherwise. And there's one last game I want to talk about, um, which is Horizon. That is just absolutely beautiful. It actually looks kind of like Zelda. <laughs> I mean, you're in this big open world with like, I don't know if there's ruins around, probably there is. And then there's this, like mechanical monsters as well. Kind of like Zelda, and you're just fighting it with swords, bow and arrow, that sort of crap. But it looks absolutely amazing. I really want to try that game for myself. I'm a bit eh about it being PS4 exclusive though. I mean, for aiming games like that, I would prefer if it was on the PC because I prefer aiming using my mouse. But whatever, I'm a still player. I mean, it did look amazing. You get to this robot and you have to freaking um, tie it, well not tie it, you have to like grapple it to the floor using these, I don't know what it was, but you have to just grapple it to the floor. And then you can just throw bombs at it and you have to like strategize as well because they have a weakness. So it could be weak to fire, it could be weak to water, I don't know, it could be weak to anything and you just really have to think about what you're doing and just revolve yourself around that and it looked really cool this game I cannot wait for this game to be released I really cannot and it's gonna be awesome and it's also like a limited edition stuff you get this little statue it looks really cool I kind of want it I don't think I'll be able to afford it <laughs> but it is such an awesome looking game and it's yet another game I want to try it on the channel don't know if I will be able to but it's something I actually want to do but yeah, it's looking good so far. I know there will be loads more news on E3. I cannot wait to see more news on E3. But all that has to wait for now, I guess. <laughs> but it's been amazing so far, E3. I cannot wait for even more of it. And I'm just really looking forward to it. I really am. And I hope you are as well. I hope you are enjoying it. I mean, it is so... It's just, it's just so difficult keeping up with everything for E3 this year, I reckon. Because I feel like we're just being so bombarded with information. And it's just like information in all different areas. Like yesterday, I was always keeping watch of a Nintendo Twitch. And just watching the Treehouse, mainly. And all of a sudden I heard there was these news about Amiibo for The Legend of Zelda. And I was like, they didn't announce this on the Nintendo Twitch. Well, they did later on. But it was just like, how did people know that? <laughs> and it was just, I don't know, it was really cool at the same time, but there's just information everywhere and it's hard to just keep on track on all of them. So I might have missed something important I needed to talk about, but I'll leave that for next week, maybe. But it's just so cool, I love E3 so much. That's actually another thing with um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is that you can scan in your Wolf Link amiibo to have the Wolf Link in the freaking game. Oh, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to do that. And I wonder what more things you could do that with in the game. This is going to be amazing. But anyway, enough of Zelda, enough of Free Free. There's actually one more thing I want to talk about. Say, this is Pokemon, Pokemon Cinnamon. 
It looks awesome. I love the uh, interface for fighting. It looks really cool. Um, it really like helps you out a little bit more. So when you get your attack, defense, down or up, it will tell you on the screen, on the bottom screen, on the test screen, which I thought was a really neat feature because in other words you had to keep up to date with everything. And, uh, and then there's also these new shortcuts. So if you want to see more information about the skill you're going to use, the move, you can just press a key shortcut to see more information about our move <laughs> and it's just those sort of little things that make the game look really cool and I can't wait for Pokemon to come out I really can't wait although I live in Europe and I have to wait a week later ah! god damn it but anyway cake I'm going to move on to cake so if you have a question for me for next week on vlogmas say use hashtag cake in the comments below right there and I'll answer next week on Flappers Day! But let's get started on all our questions this week, which we got quite a few to do. So I'm going to zoom past them, okay? <laughs> the first question is from James, and he asks, Do you think there's a problem with games being more multiplayer and online based rather than single player based? Not like World of Warcraft, which is like an MMORPG, but like Overwatch. Um, I do feel like these sort of games do need some single player elements to it. I I know I've watched this sort of, but that's pretty much as a tutorial bit. <laughs> I mean, you can go against AI as well, but then that's with other people still. And I do, I don't really like that. I mean, if Overwatch didn't have that, I would probably buy it. <laughs> but because it doesn't, I'm not that intrigued in buying it right now. But I do think more games should stick to single player or at least have some sort of single player features to it. Like, one of the things um, Phil told me was when the Gwent game came up on E3 and they said there'd be a single player mode to it so you could just play it single player. And this is, I don't know, he was seeing that how he was Hearthstone had something like that, like a single player story mode, adventure mode, whatever. And I agree, there should be more games with that if they are online or like that sort of game. Yeah, I mean for MMORPGs, of course, they have to be online, World of Warcraft, um, World of Warcraft, <laughs> you know what I'm on about, but I feel like for games like Overwatch, there could be some sort of single player element to it, I know it's heavily based on online combat, but I still feel like there should be some single player element to it, it's like Splatoon, um, I reckon that's very like, heavily multiplayer, but it is some single player as well, but not much of it. And I feel like there should be more single player elements to it. And I don't really like it to be honest. <laughs> I wish there was more single player because I prefer playing single player. Next question is from Anthony and he asks, If you were a ninja, what skill would you have? 1,000 years of death! Yeah, I actually don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool one. I, I actually no, I say it was in the world of Naruto. I want the Uchi eye. That'd be pretty cool. Although it does seem like a bit of a curse at the same time. But that'd be pretty cool. Let's go with that. Next question from Black Emmers and he says, Glad to see your interest cranked up now. When the VC clouds in the future, say clitish math friends. I don't know. I mean I do kind of want to do collabs, but at the same time, if you know me, I'm quite shy, so I don't know if I will do collabs. If I do any do any sort of collabs, it will likely be on one of my streams that I do collabs and just interact with you on the stream. So, we can play the Rocket Derby freaking game. Woohoo! But it's like a disco ball. No, dis I don't know. But we can play that for Robot Derby, I don't know what it's called either. Robot Derby Disco! Yeah! We can play that together! How amazing would that be? And then we can do that on the stream maybe. Or Super Smash! Uh, me and Phil was actually playing Super Smash Brothers the other day on the stream, so that's another thing we could actually play together. I was also thinking Mario Kart, that'd be quite cool. And there was also Hearthstone, I recently started playing Hearthstone. I'm so bad at it, I'm so a noob at it, I've still got basic cards pretty much. 
but that's another game we can play together. Just me and you fighting against me with each other using these cards. Whoa. I probably lose. <laughs> Next question is from Nermo and he asks, would you rather go through life with a potential cold soul on your mouth or have a fever the rest of your life? They both sound really bad. I mean, whenever I get like a fever, I pretty much, it's pretty much like a man flu. I just cannot do anything. Nah. So. <sighs> Probably a fever to be honest. I just sit in bed. I mean, if I have a fever and it's just like evidence I have a fever, I have no excuse to not do anything my entire life because I'm constantly ill. So maybe a fever. Let's go with that. Woohoo! Next question from Anthony and he asks, are you gonna stay that cute or are you gonna change your style to look even better? I'm not freaking cute! Well, but I got my hair, it's weird, I got my hair tied up, but I got loads of it down at the same time. So if I took my hat off, you can see I got it tied up in this freaking side ponytail again. But you can't really see it. And honestly, I think this is actually quite cute. <laughs> but I'm not cute, okay? Okay? No, but I don't really go for any style. I just go for what I think is cute looking. Well, not cute looking, just what suits me. So, yeah, <laughs> I just go for whatever. Next question for Nemo, and he has: If you could live in any city in Asia, where would it be? But no, Tokyo though. Damn it, I might have said Tokyo, but as I don't know, I honestly do not know. I'm more that familiar with countries or well, cities in Asia so I don't know <laughs> I did a quick Google search and there was this place called Kyoto which looks quite cool because I don't know it just looked really pretty it's just a face scenery sort of area yeah I don't know I honestly do not know but I'm just gonna say that because I like pretty things over Tokyo would be cool as well just because of all the stuff there. I mean you can go and buy those of cool stuff. <laughs> Just go into like, I don't know, a cool anime shop and buy those of anime crap. And I also like the thought of going down a, a really, I don't know, I don't know because I live in the UK and there's not really loads of, um, what are those big buildings called? Skyscrapers! There's hardly any of them in the UK really. And I just want to go down a road full of them and there'll be lights absolutely everywhere. I, I don't know, this would be so weird for me to see. And I kind of want to go to like Tokyo for that reason. But I'm going to say Kyoto because he said no Tokyo. Next question from Nomo again and he asks, I was wondering if you watched Kirby right back at your show. If you haven't watched it, you should. I'm like saying these questions off the top of my head so I might get them a bit wrong <laughs> but I have not watched it I probably should give it a go I don't know if I will I'm usually like really busy I'm really busy today I've got to record three videos edit three videos uh, and I might stream later on so I'm really busy today but maybe if I'm more free I might I don't know but I never watched it this question is for Luigi for Shpi Shpi I don't know um, we will play any Saints Row game. Don't play Saints Row 4 or Gat Out of Hell. Play Saints Row 3. I have previously played Saints Row games. I played 3 and 4. I agree with you. Do not play 4. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I didn't really like it too much because having superhero powers does sound really cool. But I, I just didn't really like it because I felt like it got rid of all that exploration element Saints Row 3 had where you could just drive around in a car. I mean, you could do all these cool things with a freaking car, but you can't really, you don't really have a need for having a car in Saints Row 4. So I was a bit disappointed in that, but I have played Saints Row 3. It's a freaking awesome game. Um, it's just hilarious, it's just crazy, and I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's cool. Next question is from Sarah Mary Game Party, and she asks, Will you ever do a challenge video? And have you ever done any on the channel that I've missed? Because I would like to see you do something like for Bean Boozled challenge. Ha ha ha. To be fair, I have seen Bean Boozled around and I feel like I should do a video on it. But not in a while. Like, I have um, 
them for cinnamon challenge for like 5,000 subscribers I think it was I can't even remember now but I did that it was not nice I did Chubby Bunny as well for like 200 subscribers I think it was but I think it's the only two channels oh no I did the um, water bucket one before yeah so that's another thing I've done but that's pretty much all I've done I probably should do more challenges uh, you kind of need money for challenges and I don't really have any money so I don't know if I can <laughs> but yeah I, I do want to but we'll see Next question is another one. He says, Stop me, can you do an Indian accent? It'll be funny. I'm not Indian, you know that. It went something like that. <laughs> um, good day, mate. I know that's Australian. But basically, I cannot do any accents whatsoever. <laughs> so don't bother asking my accents because all my accents sound freaking the same. I'll just call it the Stammy accent because. They're all the same. I, 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 I just don't know how to do accents whatsoever. So no, I cannot do the Indian accent. <laughs> no way, Jose. Next question for Anthony and he asks, how would you describe yourself? Probably shy, sensitive, timid. Yes, probably not the best lot, but that's how I am. I mean, if you knew me in real life, you probably know just how shy I can get. I'm pretty... I just keep to myself a lot and I don't really like go out there or talk to other people or such. It's usually only in front of the camera I can reveal my real self. Yeah. But otherwise I'm usually just super shy and I don't like it really. I'm also quite sensitive as well. I get upset quite easily. Like, yeah. So no bad comments, please. You don't want to make me cry. And I'm quite timid because I'm just like, oh, I'm scared. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't even know what I am. <laughs> I would say quite happy as well. I'm quite a happy person usually. I'm quite hyper sometimes. I'm quite weird. Yeah, that's me. And I'm a gamer. I freaking love games. My whole life pretty much revolves around games. I cannot live without games. I gotta read this on the screen because I cannot remember this. This next question is from and he asks, Here's a joke. Phil and you were walking by the shard. Phil says, this is the tallest building in London and Europe. Then Sammy says, yeah, great, let's go inside. So Sammy asked the worker inside if they could eat. No, what does it say? If they got, oh, if they got sad, they said go to a mineral store. Get it, Sammy? I, I have really bad eyesight. Um, I need glasses. But yes, I sort of get it. Because sad is a mineral, sardonyx, and then the shard building. Amazing! Next question! Next question is from Anthony and he asks Do you have a Discord server? It's a place where you can all chat with your fans and etc. It's like Skype, but even better. I don't, I never even heard of it until now. Um, I don't know if it's like... There's too many of you lots. I don't know if I did have one, if a lot of you would actually join in on it. So, maybe if the community was a bit bigger, then yeah, I might. But I don't know if I should right now. I mean, if you're willing to join it, I don't even know what it's like, to be honest, so we'll see. But if you are willing to join it, just tell me and maybe I will, but we'll see. Next question, and this is the final question this week, it's from No More, and he asks, Sammy, do you upload the videos at 14 o'clock or 2 o'clock? Or is it just random? Um, I feel like I should like, get this out a bit more. Yes, I do upload my videos at two o'clock, or at least I try to aim for that. I mean, today's video might be a bit late because I'm literally just only recording this now. It is, I'll show you for date. You can't really see it properly, but that's the time at the moment, 9.34, Wednesday, 15th of June. So I'm recording this early in the morning, but I have no idea what time this video will go out. 
I try to edit and upload as soon as possible, but it might be a bit late. But I do aim to try and get videos out at two o'clock. So yes. But that's all the videos for this week on Vlogmas Day. So if you have a question, use hashtag cakes in the comments below right there. I am so sorry this long stay went on for a little bit longer than usual. Oops. Uh, it's a couple of things I want to quickly talk about. Resident Evil 7. There's a teaser trailer and downloading it at the moment. So I might play a demo of that. Maybe for like tomorrow's video. I don't know yet. But that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty neat tale. Just thought I'd tell you. <laughs> well, see how non scared I get. I'm gonna get super scared. And there's also another thing which is, I don't know, like problems currently happening in life. I don't know what's happening, but I might be moving out soon. But because there's a few couple of problems here, uh, I think it's pretty mis miscommunication, misunderstandings, but I don't know. Just a pre warning. I might be moving, I don't know yet, but we'll see how things go. So, this all might change up again, or the setup. It's a bit annoying because I only just set up like this, but we'll see. I don't know how things go, we'll see. <laughs> but yes, I'm quickly end this vlog to stay right here because it's busy going on for too long. And I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it is so great. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. For more social medias, down below, right there. And that's it for this video of Vlogmas Day. That sounded terrible. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you have a cake time today. Bye bye! Oh, I just had my three days in front of me was having freaking surgery. How amazing would that be? Oh my god. I just don't have to watch it. <sighs> Hat off. Uh, now I need to edit and record more videos and do loads of other crap. It's too much to do. Too much to do.